Before the introduction of the M560 Hydra, missile launchers either focused on bringing down a single armored target or simultaneously neutralizing multiple unarmored opponents. With the Hydra, a soldier no longer needs to choose between the two. The Hydra releases a barrage of miniature missiles, each guided by an independent homing system that seeks out exposed enemies. On impact, three shaped charges per missile explode in sequence. The first overloads the target's kinetic barriers before the second destroys its armor, clearing a path for the third warhead to detonate inside the target. Commander. They strap a big old bomb to your planet. You know, just in case you get uppity again someday. I'm just glad we disarmed it. Damn right. Krogan are pretty tough. I'd rather it be Reaper asses getting kicked and not ours. Commander? What's new, Edie? Admiral Anderson reports that the Reapers on Earth are broadcasting orders. They are demanding human leaders into their superstructures in order to negotiate peace. Anybody aboard a Reaper is going to be indoctrinated. Exactly. This is a ruse to pacify the populace during that process. Citizens who are busy waiting are not busy fighting. It is likely that the governments of Earth will soon enact laws punishing those who attack the Reaper occupiers. Again, this will be done in the name of peace. Tell Anderson we're moving as fast as we can. Hello, Shepard. That last job on Tachanka was intense. I tried providing air support, but the sky was so full of Cerberus, it was like someone kicked a hornet's nest. Commander? Too bad about Tarquin. I was starting to like him. Hanging in there.
Your people would have made a good addition to our empire, Turian. You are cunning. Uh-huh. And by addition, do you mean slave race? Subservient race. Right. Calling it that makes all the difference. But you did not go far enough. Either you should have detonated the bomb on the Krogan world, or used it as leverage. I think we were just trying to guarantee peace. A static mode of existence. Nothing changes, nothing struggles, nothing grows. On the upside, we all get to live another day. Nice chatting. There is some enjoyment in speaking to this Turian. His knowledge of war is formidable. Though he would be an even better marksman if he had four eyes. Back when the Krogan rebelled, I would have detonated a bomb that day. There was no need for the genophage. Yes? Gabby, what do you think about our new yeoman, Miss Trainer? She's not a yeoman, she's a communication specialist. And you're barking up the wrong tree, Kenneth. You're not her type. Oh. Well, perhaps you should go and talk to her then. Maybe I should. Nobody's barking up my tree. If it works out, be sure to take video. Shepard. My board is green. Commander. Breaking now, the Arcturus station destroyed and the Alliance Parliament feared dead. But Admiral Stephen Hackett says the fleets can regroup. We'll hear it from him right here in the battle space. Commander. The Krogan are gearing up for a full-scale war. It's nearly indistinguishable from how they normally operate on Tachanka, really. Thanks for coming by. Just as much in the dark as you, honest. <laughs> That's what I needed to hear. Just making you sweat, Garrus. Wasn't sure you could. You're always so calm. I'd be happy to give Krogan some lessons on relaxing. <laughs> and we'd be happy to feed you to a thresher maw. Rex out. And next time, Shepard, don't let him near the intercom. I don't know what Turian came up with the idea, but a doomsday bomb was damned ingenious. Embarrassing, now, but ingenious back then. I'm glad Rex is taking this so well. My people haven't exactly treated his kind with charity over the years. Good to see you.
You're cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? I'm headed to Purgatory. We'll have a cab ready for you. I'm not going to be able to put up with this assignment much longer. I hear you. The white people in there keep acting like nothing's going on. No, that's just them coping with the war. It's the bottom feeders that are getting to me. Profiteering on the lives the war is destroying, it's sick. It's just business as usual as far as they're concerned. For some, it's even more business than usual. I hate that they're getting away with this. And we just sit here doing nothing while people on Palavin are dying. We could leave, quit CSEC, go to Palavin to help with the war effort, find your family. You, spirits, you do that? We're partners, aren't we? Of course I would. Thanks for the drink. about this already. I told you about his mission and... Nonsense. I just filled out the paperwork. He's very punctual when he's on the field. He checks in every week. Only... He hasn't checked in for a while now. A month. 
Anyway, I'd like to file an expedited contact request. Yes, of course, ma'am. But the notes on his file state he's not under a contact ban. Oh, you already looked. How kind of you. I'm just so worried. It's not like him to go quiet. As soon as I get news, ma'am, I'll let you know as soon as I get news. Commander, I expect you're curious about Lieutenant Commando Williams. Ashley said you offered her Spectre status, and that she accepted. It is true. The Council is in dire need of loyal agents. Williams is among the first of many. You do know she's not a fan of politicians, right? We've watched her recent career closely. Officer Candidate School taught her how to hold her tongue. She wants to do her family proud. I'm giving her that opportunity, and she knows it. The time, my schedule, has a way of catching up to me. Will this be all? Did you know a lot of people on Earth? Many. It's monstrous to think of them being snuffed out, of course. But the part that gets me is Arcturus. I must know... I must have known most of the Alliance Parliament on a first-name basis. I required a second VI just to track all their birthdays and anniversaries. Rose Garden stuff, but to have it all gone. Hmm. Any news from Earth? There is constant news. All of it bad. The Reapers are destroying satellites and the old nuclear missile silos, along with everything else that could help. We have a handful of quantum entanglers spread out over the continents. All other communication is cut. You're a Citadel Counselor. Don't you have options when the others block you like this? With Parliament destroyed and Shastri gone, I have more power than any human in history. But today, you saw how little that is. Rest assured, I will not be counted out long. I know I can move mountains. Do not lose sight of that, because the task before us is moving planets. Anderson would be proud. So long as you deliver. You think you can do that? You need a carrot or a stick to drive a mule, and humanity has neither right now. Our armada is tied down fighting or fleeing, and with Earth's calm buoys gone, our economy is reduced to an IOU. But leave that part to me. I will lean on our colonies for all they're worth, and I can broker enough trade to repair and resupply Hackett's fleet. What's your read on the counselors? Any angles I could pursue? Tavos is a diplomat and compromiser, but she's wrapped up in defending Asari space like a mother panther. Valern is out of his depth. The Salarians like their wars won before they start. They're frightened now. Use that. 
Inspiratus, I'd take what he offers. It's strange days when the Turians are the least hostile to humans, and there's a need there. I should go. I'll be here. I'm not sitting out this war in a bed. Lieutenant, listen to me. If you go back with a missing limb, you'll just be a burden to your squad mates. I'd never drag down my team. Then the greatest favor you can do them is to rest after your operation. You need me to slice my leg off? I recommend an hour with our psychiatrist. I'll think about it. Fierce fighting continues as the Reapers occupy most of Palavan. It appears that Turian forces may lose their planet. No, it's fine. We won't be needing your supplies after all. No, we found a better variant of Metagel that allows for Shepard, please select a destination. One moment, please. Now arriving at Docking Bay E-24, Emergency Civilian Housing. Lyon is on Earth. A beautiful city. You should visit her. I heard about the horrible things Cerberus did during the coup. That's not the organization I joined. I've heard so many sad stories. These people have lost so much. I've heard so many sad stories. These people have lost so much. Technically, it's thermal clips, not bullets. But who says, I filled them with five detachable heat sinks? to rush somewhere. If I end it with him, then I lose my partner benefits, and that includes my apartment. 
Okay, so maybe, just for your own security, you need to figure out an exit strategy before you talk with him. I thought I had. And I cherish the time we've had together. But... Yeah. I have never wanted to headbutt anything. Really? A little bit? Come on. I do not headbutt people. All right, fine. Don't go all blood rage on me. Or what? You'll tell the other matriarchs to order a hit. Hey, that's not gonna happen. Is it time to return to the Normandy? I Welcome to Casa Fabrication Weaponry. Casa Fabrication Weaponry hasn't forgotten Earth. Neither should you. Welcome to Nosastra's Good hunting. Goods. Cypertine Armor. Ready for shopping at Cypertine. Welcome to Agor Shopping at Agor Munitions. Right now, the Turians are in the 